What's up guys? How are you doing? My name is FIFA Junior and today we will bring you the best player for the position right back or right wing back. I know that sometimes we are struggling to find this perfect player but here we will bring you the best ones in career mode. Remember all these players are under 21 years old and their potential is an estimation. This can change in the game. So let's go! So, the first player is Tomás Tavares from Basel. Right now, this Portuguese player is playing in this team, but he's, he's on loan by the team Benfica from Portugal. Tavares ha is a 73 player and he can scale to a 82. I want to show you guys that Tavares has 4 stars skills. And also, he has 79 pace, 74 dribbling, 70 defending, and 71 physics i think he's a really really complete defender and he's one of the best options that you can find and at the same time i want to tell you that he has the real face so if you want one of those managers that love to play with real faces players this is one on your list later we have a player from the Sheffield united we're talking about bogle this english player is a 72 and he can scale to the 82 to, if we look at the dribbling, passing, defending and physics, he has really, really good stats. And also he's 81 on pace. Now we need to talk about this country, guys. United States. These gringo guys are surprising the complete earth, to be honest. Right now, there is a lot of young players that are playing the Bundesliga. And they are really, really good. Also, I think that CONCACAF uh, style is, is giving a lot of potential. Let's say Dimi Lorzano, uh, uh, Alfonso Davis. These are from the CONCACAF and we're talking Canada and Mexico, but United States, oh my gosh, these guys are throwing wonder kids everywhere. But this time we're going to talk about Scali, Scaly. Scaly maybe? Uh, he's playing the, uh, in, in Munchen Blackback. He's a 62 and he can scale to an 82, but if we look to his stats at his level 62, he has 79 pace, 63 dribbling, 65 physics. Guys, he's a really, really good player. If you want cheap players, this is one, this is one. Let me know if you sign him, how much is going to scale. Later on, we have layered or layered. Uh, this wing back plays in Swansea team. He's a Eng he's plays also for England. He's a 76, sorry, 77, and he can scale to a 82. He has 81 pace. It's really good. 70 physics, 60 dribbling, 60 in passing, 63 in defending. I think he's really really good choice. Also, later on we have a French player from Olympique de Lyon. Good stuff. He's a 66 and he can scale to a 82. I just want to highlight that he's a medium, medium work rate. So if you want to be more defensive or more attacking, you need to do some work in your uh, formation. Now we have a player from the Ivory Coast and he plays in Torino in the Serie A. Uh, this wing back called Singo. He has a, he's a 66 and he can scale to an 82. The next player is Libramento. Oh, Libramento. I am a Chelsea fan. And when I saw that Libramento was not going to sign anymore with Chelsea, I was hurt, to be honest. I was waiting to be, to be Rhys James and Libramento, our options to be in the, in the um, right back situation or in the wing back situation. Liramento is a 80, uh, 82. He's 18 years old. He's playing the, in Southampton right now. Uh, he's a 61. He can scale to a 82. But right now, everyone is, play, is talking about this player. Uh, even they are saying that why Chelsea uh, didn't sign this player sooner or at least uh, to renew the signing. But now Southampton has the opportunity to uh, scale him. And let's see if Liramento is going to uh, um, how say, succeed in this position. Now we're talking about Che. Uh, che is a 
nickname for Argentina players, but this one is from United States. He plays in the F in Dallas and just want to highlight guys that he's the tallest player in this list. He his his height is 1 meter 85 centimeters. So he's really really tall and at the same time he's a 63, he's a 70 pace, 60 defending, 65 physics. And he has high high work rates. Maybe you need to do something in the formation about this. And and another to, Another thing that I want to highlight, guys, is that Che has the possibility to play also in the center back position. So he is a good player that if you want to have like, a, if you want to play with three center backs, you can play him in the in the center back right position, and it will be a good choice. Now we have a player from Bru from Burkina Faso. Cavore is a 68, and he can slip to 83. Look at his pace, he's 91, sorry, 91, 70 in physics, 64 in dribbling. I just want to, uh, I believe that this team that he's playing right now is that team that signed Mares and, and Golo Kante when nobody knew about these players and later on they were uh, surprising Leicester. So maybe this team knows about signing young players, so maybe you need to look at uh, Cabote, maybe it's a good option. Now we have a, a player from Feyenoord. This Netherlands player, he's a 67, 66, and he can get to a 84. To be honest, he has really good stats, but he's a 76, so it's a gold player. Normally they have good stats, 80 pace, 71 dribbling, 74 defending, 75 physics, 66 passing. This is another stats that sometimes People like to look at it for the if you want to cross the ball. So it's a good, good option. Now we have a Fring Pong, it's another Netherlands player, but this time he's playing the Bundesliga and Bayer Leverkusen. He's a 73 and he can skill to a 84, but being a 73, he, he has 91 pacing, 77 dribbling, six, 74 defending, 78 physics. 64 in passing like to be honest I think this guy is the best one uh, Fring Pong is one of the best players that you can sign right now and at the same time he has good work rates high attacking and medium defending well uh, I am saying that these are good work rates because are the work rates that I look for in my right back and left back position to have these work rates so this is also a good signing. Um, <laughs> guys, these stats are amazing, to be honest. Are amazing. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm saying. Hmm. Another failure of Chelsea. Lamptey uh, had his debut with Chelsea against Arsenal. He started a, a play. He started as a sub. And he made a play that Chelsea won that game. After that... Uh, Lamptey had a contract with Brighton uh, so that's the reason that he's not playing with Chelsea anymore unfortunately and at the same time he knew that it was going to be dif really difficult to compete against uh, Rhys James Rhys James is really really young also Lamptey is also I think 20 years old uh, he knew that he needs to sign another another team to uh, to have more minutes and now there are rumors that Bayern de Munich wants him Lampton is a 74 and he can scale to a 84 and at the same time he's 87 pace, 66 passing, 75 dribbling, 67, uh, 67 defending and 52 physics. I just want to highlight that Lampton is really really a small player but in, in real life that doesn't affect him. Like he's really really strong, he knows that he's small but at the same time he's not afraid to fight for any ball. And I think this is one of the reasons that Lamptey is one of, he makes, uh, this makes him special in the game, you know, in real life. In game, it's a different story. <laughs> now, our next player is from Belgium, and we're talking about Siget. He's a 69 uh, in level, and he can scale to an 84. He's playing the Belgium League, 
Uh, he has 74 pacing, 71 passing. I think it's the best passing that we're, uh, we're seeing in these top 15 players. He also has good stats in dribbling, defending and physics. He's really, he, he looks for me like he could play as, also as a, as a wingback solution. Maybe he doesn't have that pace, but some people are looking at players to be more physique and good at passing. And I think this one can be their option. Now we have another player from the United States and we're talking about best. Well, um, what can we say about this player? He was from Ajax, now he's playing for Barcelona. Uh, he's 80, 87 pace, he has 72 passing, 81 dribbling. Also, look at his uh, uh, stars. Four stars, skill food. Skill food. Door, four star skills, four star in weak food also. And his work rates are really good. High attacking and low defending. Low defending, guys. You need to do some formation changes if you want to sign to make the best of him. Uh, right now, I believe that he was playing also with, with Common in Barcelona like uh, as a right mid option. There's another thing that you can think about. Um, and yeah, uh, to be honest, right now Des is looking minutes with Xavi. Uh, and now that Xavi signed also Dani, Dani Alves, Dani Alves could play also as a center in a midfielder option. He was playing that position in, in that position in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, so, so yeah, <laughs> Des, good luck. And at the same time, United States, wow, I'm surprised about the wonder kit that you're having. In our first and our top one player is from the Netherlands, he's playing Ajax, and we're talking about range. Look at his weak foot, he has four, five stars. He has a work rate of high attacking and medium defending. His pace, his dribbling, his defending, his physics, and his passing as really good as a 73 player. And he can escape to an 85. Hmm. It's amazing what Ajax is doing with his hits. Guys, let me know which player you're going to sign. And if you have not seen our center back top 15 players, I will leave you the video here. And see you in the next time.